Label. Display sound and video files. It's easy in Moodle to display sound files like MP3s, video files like MP4, or externally hosted files such as on YouTube. With the multimedia filter enabled, these files display in their own player, as we can see in this history course where the teacher has uploaded an MP3 file of the course objectives, and if we scroll down, we see she's embedded a YouTube video directly on the course page. Let's go into our Teacher Sam's course to see how she does this. You can display sound and video files anywhere there is the text editor. So for example we could do it in a section summary or in a page resource. But we are going to use what Moodle calls a label. So we turn the editing on from the gear menu top right and then in the section we want our media file, we click Add an activity or resource and then scroll down to Label. Clicking Label once will display information on the right hand pane and clicking it twice will take us straight into our label to start editing it. So let's add an MP3 sound file of the course objectives. When we've added our text, we click the media icon and choose Audio and then browse repositories to find or upload the mp3 sound file. Note that there are other options available too, but we'll look at those shortly. When we click Insert Media, the file doesn't yet display in its player, we'll only see it once we click Save and Return to Course. And here it is. Now let's see two ways of adding YouTube videos. Again, we go to Add an Activity or Resource and add a label. And this time, when we click the media icon, we choose Video. We can either paste in the URL of our YouTube video or browse the repositories and go to YouTube videos, which our administrator has enabled. There are various criteria we can search from. We type in a key term. Let's use French alphabet rap. And then when we click the search button, YouTube presents us with some possible videos to choose from. And we simply click the one we want and select it. Other options here allow us to specify a size for our video, upload a thumbnail image, and even add our own captions and subtitles in different languages if we want to. And again, when we click insert media, we don't yet see the embedded YouTube video until we save and return to course and we don't need to know any code to be able to do this. However, if you have several videos, it's better to display them in a page resource where students can click to go to the video rather than having a number of videos directly on your course page. If you already know the URL of your YouTube video, here's a quick way of embedding it into a page. Again, we click Add an Activity or Resource and choose Page. And then we simply paste the URL of the YouTube video directly onto the page and save. Note that it displays immediately in a player, but if you don't see it displayed in a player, check your filter settings.